Hey everybody, it's Ann Hess with Be Fit, and we are still in week one of our Be Fit Spring programs. This is workout number two. Once you complete this, you are done with these intense workouts for the week, but absolutely want you to keep moving. I'll be posting maybe a little fitness challenge for you over the weekend. Um, but here we go. Today's workout is Be Fit's Best Baker's Dozen. I picked 13 of our core exercises, some of our best, some of our favorites. And these are exercises that we build upon throughout the next 10, well after this it'll be nine weeks. So here we go. I wanted to show you a couple warm up exercises before we get started. And always make sure, you know I'm showing you these now, I'm not gonna be showing you them every week, but make sure you warm up before you do get started in your workout. One of my favorites is B-Fit, I'm sorry, full body circles. Scraping the ground, coming the whole way around. Coming around, when you come up to the top, really reach up, stretch it out, and then you're gonna go do like four or five each direction, okay? Just like that, really loosening up. Then we're gonna do some high knee pulls, and we do these together in our live workouts. We're walking when we do them, walking and talking. You can see you're getting your arms up over your head, you're pulling, knee comes up, really warming up all those major muscle groups. Just doing some regular squats, get your arms out in front, Again, warming up the body. And then some butt kickers. Kick your butt. Pull back, open that chest up, warming up your arms and your low body. And then the last one, which is also one of my favorites because it really helps stretch out my legs, are cross body toe touches. Trying to get that leg as straight as you can and reach for that toe. Your arms are almost coming around in a circle. You can see I'm getting, even getting a little winded. It's warming us up and then shake it out. So, you know, maybe do like 20 to 30 seconds of each or 10 of each, warm that body up. Now we're ready to get started. So we're doing Tabatas today. Tabatas are about to work with a little bit of rest. So we're gonna do 30 seconds of work for four exercises in a set and then take about a 15 second break. So are you ready? Our first exercise is squat kicks. So you're gonna squat down, kick out and reach. Squat kick, squat, and you're going to go for 30 seconds. So you're going to need a timer or a stopwatch. And most, if you have a smartphone, they have that. So squat kicks, 30 seconds, take a 10 to 15 second break. Then you're going to do alternating lunges. Now again, if you can't squat, you can just do cross body kicks. I forget, I'm going to show you guys modifications because I know some of you do have some knee issues. You're going to do alternating lunges. So lunge forward, alternating. Now, if your knees hurt and you can't lunge forward, maybe try a side lunge. Okay, so feet together. I'm thinking you can still see me. Do a side lunge. Side, just a mini lunge. If that hurts, or even the forward lunge hurts, can you just do step forward, step forward, and not really, you know, going down into a lunge format. Just do a step touch, step touch. You could even get your arms going to get that heart rate up. Okay, you're doing 30 seconds. But you can take it slow as well because I don't want you to hurt your knees. All right? Then we have butt wipers. These are butt wipers. You're gonna touch low and touch high. Reach between your legs and you're gonna do this for 30 seconds. Butt wipers. Then you have floor touches. I think we did these before. Hands on the hips, alternating floor touches, and these are for 30 seconds. Obviously, everything is for 30 seconds. All right. Now, I don't have enough time. YouTube only gives me like 15 minutes to post my video. Those are floor touches. You're gonna take a 10, 15, maybe even a 20 second break because you just went through all four. Then you're going back to the top. We're doing them again. So you're gonna go back to squat kicks for 30 seconds lunges for 30 seconds, butt wipers for 30 seconds, and then floor touches. And then you've completed one set, all right? Take a little breather because now you have, I call it cardio breaks. Yeah, not really a break, cardio breaks. So what I want you to do, if you have space where you can go outside, if, you, if it's close to where you're working out, you're gonna go easy out, hard back, and you're gonna do that 
um, for a total of two minutes, some cardio. If not, you can take a bench like this, do tap touches for like a minute, turn around and sit down, stand up for a minute. This is just a little cardio break. We want to get your heart rate up. What else could you do? Or just march or jog in place. Okay, now if you have knee problems, maybe just do a power walk out and back. You could do high knee pulls and tap touches. Anything. You could dance. Just do it for two minutes, keeping that heart rate up. Then you're going on to set two. In set two, we have four more exercises, so we're going to complete four more, which will give us eight of our dozen. You have mountain climbers. I'm going to show you on the floor, and then we'll go to the table. These are mountain climbers, and you're going to do them for 30 seconds, bringing your toes in and kicking it out. Here, once you go higher, it becomes a little bit easier. So kick it out. 30 seconds. More modification would be tap, 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 and that's okay for 30 seconds. So you have three ways you could do that. Next up, we have jumping jacks for 30 seconds. You all know regular jumping jacks. Those of you with knee problems or even on the verge of having some knee pain, do a modified jack. So that is tap out, tap out. Okay, 30 seconds. Then we have inchworms. This is a tough one, inchworms, but I'm gonna show you full version, then I'll show you modified. Don't give up on me, okay? You can do this. Here's a full inchworm. You're gonna reach from the ground, walk out to a push-up position, just like this, walk it back, trying to keep your legs straight. That's an inchworm. You could go to your knees. Here's a way to modify it. A lot of people were doing this in our live workouts. Walk it out to a push-up position, walk it back, okay? Walk it out, get into that push-up position, walk it back. If you can't kneel down on something soft like a mat, you could do an inchworm standing away from a table where you walk it out to a push-up position and walk it back. And you'll do that for 30 seconds, all right? Everything we do can be modified. Then we have an advanced version of a jumping jack, which is a jumping jack toe touch. So that looks like this. Jumping jack toe touch. Okay, now how do you modify that? Step out, touch, step out, touch, step out, touch. All right, so those are our four. We have mountain climbers, which I showed you. That was these, um, regular jumping jacks, inchworms, and jumping jack toe touches. That completes um, that set, but remember, you're gonna do that twice, do it twice, and then you have your cardio break again. So two minutes, of dancing, you can be doing tap touches, get those arms going anytime you can get anything over your head. Do touch your butts, touch your butts. You can do heel taps, okay? But again, trying to get those arms over your head. Jog in place, power walk, or dance. Something for two minutes, getting that heart rate up. Now our last Tabata set, working some abdominals, all right? So we're gonna start with a V sit. Your hands are at your butt, fingers are facing straight ahead. You have your heels down. What I want you to do is bring your knees in nice and tight. Now you're gonna push your feet out, and as you do, bring your body back to where you're up. You're laying down on your elbows, then come back in, bring your knees up. Go back. Lay down just to your elbows, come back up. Try to keep those feet off the ground. This is killer abdominal exercise. You're gonna do it for 30 seconds, and even if you only make it 10, that's great, we're only in week one, it's okay. So those are your V-sits. Since you're down here on the ground, next up is gonna be push-ups. All right, push-ups. You all know push-ups, regular push-ups. You can do modified push-ups to the table or modified from your knees, just like this. All right, doing them for 30 seconds. Then you have regular sit-ups, just a regular sit-up. If you use your arms over your head, it's going to help you up, okay? Just like that. If you want to add a weight, like a medicine ball or, or a, a book like we used before, that will help you up. 
If you absolutely cannot get up, don't feel bad, you're not alone. Just do a crunch. And eventually, we're gonna make that connection to come the whole way up. Think about it, you have to get up out of bed, that's like a sit up. All right, then we have burpees. Burpees are a staple. This is a burpee modified. This is a burpee further modified. Or a full version of a burpee. Jump it down, kick it out, back in, jump up. And you can do that for 30 seconds. We have one last exercise. It was actually supposed to be the first one in this set, but I missed it. It's called a TBE, Total Body Extension. Looks like this. You're gonna be like in the position like a ski jumper. So you're down like a ski jumper and you're gonna come all the way up, all the way up to your tippy toes. You're doing that for 30 seconds as fast as you can. Total body extensions, 30 seconds. Then you'll go through those one more time. So you have 13 exercises, you're doing each one 30 seconds, two times. And then my friends, you are done. That completes our routine for today. You have two bouts of cardio in there, plus those 13 exercises, which definitely will get your heart rate up. You're done for the day, you've completed Workout number two for week one. Congratulations, and we will see you next week. Bye-bye.